it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today starts a new series using Southwest Colors. I'm going to do two or three videos over the next week or two, but each one will have its own distinct color palette because it's a bright, colorful world out there. <laughs> Let me get you down. Hey guys, it's Karen. So first off, excuse the mess. I had students here all day and I was going to like clean up and I'm like, why you should just stay in paint and add to the mess so that's what i'm gonna do i already had a fail um i screwed this up can you tell and this is uh since this is my southwest series i would be remiss without giving a shout out to a former student and now friend anna from colorado um emerging artist her website uh, and her socials is stcrossart.com go check her out anyway while she was here toward the end of her time she was here for three or four days and toward the end when I like kind of set students free to pick their own colors and things she was doing these southwest colors that I just thought were beautiful now I'm not one to color to color I'm not one to copy other people's color palettes I like to come up with my own um, so that's what I'm doing tonight got a bit of a fail here and eliminated a couple colors one which is super pretty I'm gonna save it um, over here is Syrah mixed with Aspen which doesn't go with the bright happy colors down here so I'm gonna go again this is a 16 by 16 Windsor Newton professional canvas has the fancy plastic keys and everything. I'm using color to go tonight because I don't feel like dealing with bubbles and took advantage of the sale. So we're just going to go right on top of that. And then here is my palette. So first up, this is golden uh, phthalo turquoise. So the dark version. Phthalo Turquoise, we're going to put some Horizon, this little piggy, on top of it, followed by Golden Indian Yellow, followed by Golden Burnt Sienna. And then, last but not least, this is Atelier. This is Cobalt Turquoise. Or Cobalt, Cobalt something. <laughs> is it teal or turquoise? Let me look at the label. It is, I forgot. It is Cobalt Turquoise. Had it right the first time. So... We got the phthalo turquoise and the cobalt. So lots of turquoise, loving this, this palette. We're just gonna use our lamp black CA. Give this a blowout and hopefully I'll be happier with this color combo. It's kind of a weird canvas size for me. It feels small, but it's bigger than a, you know, 12 by 12. And I bought like a six pack of them because uh, well, I have a couple floater frames. <laughs> Doing things backwards as usual. All right, cool air, high fan. And go again. Why am I doing it like this? I just felt like it. All right, let's try this again. Oh, 
I'm going to kind of blow this out wacky too. Instead of being all organized, I'm going to do a messy blowout. That was fun. I <laughs> got out all my frustration <laughs> doing that. Mm, a couple. I think I'd rather remove that with my syringe. Yep. If I can, if the plunger wants to work. Oh my gosh, what's with the plunger? Do your thing. Let's switch. Maybe that one's too cake filled or too pink filled, I mean. Let's see. Yeah, this one's working. Oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. All right, let's tilt this. Let's take a whole bunch of paint. Put it over on this side. Where I blew it right off. I have some gross stuff on my tabletop from, you know, hours and hours ago. I don't care though, because I'm just want to make this wet. Yeah, see how disgusting it is? But if I can still use it somehow, I'm gonna. You know, put this fresher stuff where we want it to marry up. All right, I see this as the top. So let me take this. See, my middle is stuck. Now you're stuck. When I wanted it to be stuck, like two paintings ago, it wasn't. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bunch of paint in this one corner. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Okay, kids, don't do what I just did, which is grab the wrong container of paint because <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen. Um, I used uh, color to go, and for some reason, I just grabbed my PPG Multi Pro. Oh, my goodness, girl. Maybe you should not be painting tonight. And push this stuff up. All right. Mm. 
It's working though, it's working, it's working, it's working. Let's stop. I don't want to lose the yellow. We can spin that stuff off. Let's go a pop. I'll go this way so you can see. See plenty of paint to swirl things around. I don't want it to go off. And then let's go over um, this way just a little bit. And then my poor top is so gross. <laughs> I think this might be a record for the messiest environment I have ever painted in, for sure. I, I can't stand it. I'm, I'm not neat like Canela, but I'm not messy like Lisa either. Like, and if if on the scale with one at one end, and I would definitely be closer to Canela in terms of trying to be neat. So let me. Kind of put this down in the middle. Let's give this a spin. Hopefully it doesn't fly off because paint will act like a suction cup, but if there's too much, it'll help it slide. All right, let's stop. So I got rid of a bunch of dark stuff off this one side, which is great. I want to, there's too much um, burnt sienna for me. And we're really going to make this abstract, too, for sure. I'm going to lose a whole bunch. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm sorry if you can't. It's it's kind of tough. I'm just going to take my hand and wipe my top clean. So I put a bunch of it. I rolled a bunch off and put some in the corner. I'm still not feeling like Southwest vibes, even though some of these colors are definitely Southwest. Let's give this a spin. Let me clean off my top. Keep things from, okay, here goes. Get to my corners at the bottom at least. Yep, off goes the dark. Yep, spinning's gonna help a lot. So let me go. Let me see the consequences to my actions. So far, so good. Yep, I'm just gonna keep going. And trying to watch my corners getting dizzy. Oh, I'm like uh, half an inch away here, or no more here. Still have a ways to go over here. And so I'm looking at this bottom. Deciding how much of that am I willing to lose? And honestly, I don't think I mind losing that, truth be told. I kind of like all the other stuff better. Yeah. So, I think, I think I'm gonna keep spinning. Yep. Oh, 
I still have that one corner. I got rid of the gray on this one corner. This is a cool painting, y'all. I'm gonna keep going. I gotta get I gotta get coverage in that one corner. And I like to get rid of some of the hard black down there. Very abstract, cool piece though. How close am I? I think I'm like a half an inch. Let me see. Yep, I lost some more of the, uh, oh, I'm so close. What can I do? Let's grab, can I grab some of you and just like put you on there? See that, whenever I do that, it just looks stupid. But we'll put a whole bunch there and hopefully it'll now fly off. That's my corner the black lines have been lessened at the bottom there I don't want to lose too much more yellow though so hopefully this is the last spin and it does the trick and let me see oh gosh close enough I'm going to probably puff on that by mouth. I don't want to lose any other colors. I think it's been spun within an inch of its life. Let me stare at it. I love how, how just like abstract this is. I am digging this one, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if it's Southwest themed. I mean, definitely some of the colors are. It is not what I had in mind, but I, I feel it was more, um, this is created more out of frustration. And I'll be honest, it's been a super long day. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I've been painting since 11 a.m. So um, I think I had maybe 45 minute break or I had a sandwich for dinner. So I think I'm gonna call it. Say ta-da, I'm gonna go find a barrette and put my hair back and I will just puff this little part out by mouth off camera. And um, yeah, get you guys down for a close up because I, I dig it otherwise. I think it's really hella cool. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, I forgot to film the uh, wet results. I was too busy cleaning up my giant mess. Um, I really like this one. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, I just think it's cool. I love how vivid the colors are. I like the color blocking. I just like all the wacky stuff there in the middle and up here. And this part here, like I love it all. I think it can go in two different orientations. This is one. And let me change it. I'm not real sold on this pecan colored frame either. Ooh, this is the other orientation. I like it like this as well. Um, some sort of sea life. I don't know. A couple of my favorite things, like the line work right there is hella cool. And the cells there. And then like all this stuff here too. It's Funkadoric, man. I'm digging it. I think I prefer this orientation too. Let me know what you guys think and which way it should go. I'm not going to flip around and show my face. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have the time or you're busy doing chores, please let the commercials run. Uh, every 30 seconds, give us the content creator a few pennies. That's how it works. Otherwise, you know, we get like 60 cents or something awful. Not quite that bad, but you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching and tuning in. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.